Hi there guys, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. As you'll be able to see there, there was a sell-off in the uh, global equity markets. As you can see there in the US 30, we're actually trading quite close to potential support at 16,400, a uh, very negative candle. Uh, and we've seen some big moves in some of the FX markets yesterday. Very volatile session, uh, especially if you've seen a lot of action in uh, US uh, bond yields as well, uh, which had a big impact on the US dollar against some other FX pairs. But um, sell-off there, we had real bad GDP figures from right across all the Eurozone, apart from Germany, which actually beat expectations, but most other European regions uh, fell well short of expectations. If I look at the UK 100 right there, this will give you a bit of an idea of the volatility. It's been shooting up and shooting back down again. Um, though right now we are trading below potential resistance at 68.74. That's the level to beat, but lots of pressure around this morning. Japan 225 on the wrong side of 14.219 as ever. Uh, this is a level that's strategic for uh, Japan to the five dollar yen uh, has been very volatile selling off as well So more yen buying is impact in the competitiveness of Japan 225 If we then jump on to the uh, dollar yen you can see this descending triangle formation is very much in play right now Potential support at 101 spot 35 is a new level to look at a break below that opens up 100 spot 80 uh, And certainly there still seems to be a little bit well actually cable and euro dollar are relatively flat this morning so we're looking for uh, for a breakout on uh, on the US dollar to what it's going to do next. If we look at West Texas, um, slight bang in the middle of the range, needs to get to 103 to challenge potential resistance or 100 spot 60 to challenge potential support, a long way from there at the moment. Whereas gold, I can see, has uh, continued to, to drift lower. Uh, as ever, 1295, still strategic in the short term. This is where uh, traders will really look for uh, for little um, snippets of trades. Um, this also was a 21 period SMA, so do bear that in mind. All the technicals are flattening out as well. This is probably going to be a, a kind of a symmetrical triangle formation that is appearing here, which I'll, uh, I'll add on our next update. Um, but there will be a breakout at some point soon. It's a switch direction. But it's always up to you guys there at home. Looking at Euro dollar, again, incredibly volatile. Uh, sold off strongly yesterday as um, traders started to bet that the ECB will cut rates uh, next month. Um, but just extreme volatility right there. This is, a very, this is actually a hammer formation and candlestick terms. Um, but there's still a lot of pressure. 37.09, as you can see here, it's obviously, it's obviously significant. Uh, do have a look at this in more detail. And um, if we actually finish up with GBP USD in this instance, uh, it has been coming off. Another kind of hammer-ish formation, around about that 55 period SMA and potential support at 67.44. Um, a long way to go before we re-challenge the highs, uh, especially after Kearney's dovish uh, speech or statement, I should say, on uh, keeping interest rates in UK low for longer, which go, went against the grain of expectations, thinking that in fact the UK would be one of the first major uh, regions in the Eurozone to raise rates, but that's seems slightly unlikely at the moment. Um, UK equities actually got quite hurt yesterday. Most global indices are still down this morning, um, but we are heading into Friday, so we'll see how everything else pans out. In regards to economic data, today is the 16th. There's nothing that exciting, to be honest. You do have the, um, the Reuters University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey. It's not really that significant, in my opinion. Let's fast forward on to Monday. Nothing really happening on Monday. You have to go on to Tuesday, actually, before you get into uh, some uh, other data. Nothing major uh, UK CPI data. And you're actually on to Wednesday before you get anything US related. And even then, it's not major. Going on to Thursday, still not, you got your jobless claims uh, and UK GDP. But um, it's quite a quiet week next week. But those things in regards to, uh, to economic data or macro data, keep your eye on the chart forum. Uh, to get um, trade setups from our global analyst team, uh, potential setups anyway, uh, they'll highlight the support and resistance, and make sure you make insights part of your layout going forward, um, as this is uh, the inside track from our global team, uh, helping you understand what's moving the markets today. Anyway, join me again on Monday to find out what happened next.